Yo yo YouTube guy on Cast here and today I'm here with another lesson of TGTV. This is the third episode in the series and I'm gonna discuss about items. So if you do think you know everything there is to know about items, you can tune in next episode. And next episode I will probably talk about what I um, think are the best moves in the competitive metagame at the moment. So, you might want to tune in for that next episode. But for those who, uh, of you that do want to know about items, I will hop over to the team builder tab and you'll probably see this team and think like, hmm, it's quite a weird team. Well, this team is gonna be the team that is gonna explain the good items, I feel like, the main items and kind of the reason why they are good, what they do in the metagame, etc, etc. So, first item I want to talk about, because I'm going to talk about most of the popular items, and some are items. I'm just doing this in alphabetical order. So, first of all, the Assault Vest. The Assault Vest basically is an item that boosts your uh, special defense by 1.5, but it uh, make sure of it that you can hit like toxic toxic is a status move and because of the fact that it is a status move an assault vest blocks um, you from using that move so only select damaging move and since toxic isn't a damaging move but a status move it cannot be used so it's quite a weird of a move um, someone's that can um, can afford having uh, a assault vest because of the fact that they don't use status moves that someone's will be crippled by it but like Kunkel, Kunkel is a great um, assault vest mom because of the fact that his defense is already pretty high and special defense makes it extra bulky um, because of the fact that is, um, they boost its defense and special defense and it's already high HP and because of the fact that it's not meant to hard speed things it really makes a bulky mom which is great so an assault vest works for these kind of mods think about Machamp, Machamp if you go and look at it right here an armon that's not very fast but is quite decently bulky so an assault vest would work on mon like Machamp as well. Uh, I think it's a pretty decent item but you do have to run it on the mons that aren't going to outspeed a lot of things or meant to take a lot of hits and yeah that's pretty much the basic thing. Um, the second item I want to talk about is the choice band and um, following that is the choice scarf and choice specs these items are called the choice items yeah big surprise the choice band makes it so that you can um, it boosts your attack by a 1.5 those 1.5 numbers are quite popular but it does boost it by 1.5 but you can only select the first move it executes so if I come in with my Conkeller for the first time and I'm going for like Drain Punch I can only use Drain Punch while being out if I switch out and I um, come back in again and I go for Ice Punch that's fine but I'm not able to go for Drain Punch because of the fact that I'm locked into ice punch and a lot of people or if you hear me in life if you hear me say I'm locked in it pretty much means I'm using a choice item so a choice band or other choice items like a choice scarf boosting your um, speed or a uh, choice specs boosting your special attack both, um, both amazing items on a mall like Kaldio are just basically a high risk high reward I feel like because you do limit your coverage but you get a lot of like offense and speed in return so they are quite good but I feel like 
on a bomb that is good because of its coverage it's pretty bad so it's it's quite kind of a weird item but I do love the fact that you can get an amazing boost so it's it's a good one I feel like um, the fourth item I want to talk fifth item excuse me I want to talk about is the violet and again that 1.5 boost but this time if a Pokemon is able to evolve one more time like Chansey because Chansey can evolve into Blissey you can um, the item if I like works on you boosting your defense by 1.5 and your special defense by 1.5 and this makes some bulky um, unevolved mons like Chansey is a great example but look at Gligar Gligar is pretty bulky of itself so it makes it even bulkier um, look at Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is an amazing Pokemon I feel like and they get a lot of bulk so it's pretty nice for those mounts. It's fun to see a non-evolved Pokemon put in work and I, there is no real limitation of the item so that's great in my opinion it's pretty damn good the next item I want to talk about is the focus sash and this thing is I feel like one of the lesser items um, I shouldn't be using Gengar for this example but I could um, focus sash ensures that if you are hit by like a boosted knockoff from a mega Absol or something like that is that's probably the worst way for Gengar here to die if it's full HP so if it's a hundred percent it lives every time so if you lead with a focus dash one it's pretty good because there will be no hazards up and you'll be able to get off at least two attacks which is pretty good the downside I feel like of a focus sash is the fact that the metagame is becoming really hazard heavy so a lot of moves like stealth rock or spikes are being used so a lot of sashes are broken because if you are not a hundred percent focus has doesn't work and that's the crappy part uh, a good example of a focus sash on better one because they use it a lot on pretty frail mons frail and offensive mons but the best um, the best mon to have a focus sash is Alakazam because Alakazam has this ability called Magic Guard, which ensures it that it doesn't get hit by moves like Stealth Rock or Spike. So it always it always gets off two hits, and that's why Alakazam is pretty much the best focus sash mon there is. But I do feel that in this metagame, the Focus Sash, except from Metagazam, is getting a little worse. But that's the Focus Sash. Next item, Leftovers. Leftovers is, I feel like, the most used item because it gives you recovery at the end of the turn. You. So if a Mon attacks me and does like 10% I can get back like 6% which is great you can slowly recover and this is an amazing item for months that um, don't get a recovery move like roost or something like that but Skarmory does get it and it makes it pretty damn difficult to beat leftovers are a pretty reliable item because it makes bulky months more bulky and months with um, like to move substitute if you look at it a sub is a decoy that you put on a field that takes damage for you in return for a, if, if you use substitute it takes away one fourth of your HP so you can just set up a sub hind behind it get some back some leftovers recovery you have a chance to like set up a nasty power or something like that and it's pretty good. It's pretty like a mon like Thunderous is 
pretty good on it. So leftovers, I feel like, is pretty much the most reliable item in the game, and I love them for it. The next item on my list is the life orb, which Mr. Gengar here can use as well. A life orb is, I feel like, the most um, best offensive item there is. I love to run it on a lot of mods. It's basically a booster item. It's not as big of a boost as Choice Band is, like Choice Band is 1.5. And the Life Orb only gives 1.3 and it takes away some HP. But if you are a fast offensive mom, I feel like you don't always need that HP. So losing a bit of HP for the damage output isn't that bad. And you can really cripple a lot of teams. You're not locked in. Um, with like a choice band you are locked in but if you have a life orb if you have a mom that has a wide vari uh, variety of moves like a ganger for example has sludge bomb which is amazing against uh, fairies you can shadow ball you can use energy ball but uh, I, I don't know um you can use dazzling gleam there are a lot of options there's a lot of coverage and a life orb is great for that because you can use a wide variety of moves and still put out a boosted amount of damage. The the bad part of life orb, of course, is that you lose a little bit of HP. But I don't feel like it's that bad. I feel like life orb is an amazing item, best offensive item in the game, in my opinion. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have to tell about life orb. Our fun thing to mention is that if a uh, Pokemon has the ability, we can check on our abilities right here. Um, if it has the ability Sheer Force, which should be right here. If it has Sheer Force, this ability will, if a move like Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb has a side effect. And if a move has uh, a side effect, and the ability of that mom using it is sheer force you won't take life orb damage which is pretty nice if you have a mom with for example again alakazam if alakazam um, uses his life orb and magic guard because of the fact that magic guard prevents it from taking any other damage than attacks you also are immune of life orb damage that's a pretty nice niche, but I feel like a focus ash at exam is still better. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the life orb. Next is the lumberry. Um, lumberry is one of the many, many berries. In my opinion, there are only a handful of good berries, and lum is a great example for it because lumberry. If you read it right here, it can cure any status. Um, so if you're confused, it cures it. If you're burned, it cures it. If you're paralyzed, it cures it. And it makes it very good for like setup sweepers like Hexorus with like a, a dragon dance. Like if you set up a dragon dance, which your opponent goes for like Will Wisp to burn you, so you your boost in attack is useless or if you go for um, if he goes for a thunder wave to cripple you in speed you can get um, that status removed by the lumberry and you still have your fully boosted stats right there which is an amazing just an amazing fact so lumberry is pretty cool it's in my opinion only good on setup mods yeah that's uh, pretty much all I have to say on the lumberry Next item is, I'm going to skip over these ones because they are very situational. Um, the Rocky Helmet and Skarmory is not a mom that can use it very well. If a user, if the opponent uses like contact move, so for example a tackle. I talked about this in a past episode like Iron Hat. If it's um, moves like that and that have that red star thingy. Those are contact moves, and if the move uses, uh, has a contact with the user, it gets hurt by 1.6. And if you have a mon using it with like 
bruised or something like that so you can recover off um, the damage that your opponent is dishing out but your opponent is losing damage at the same time which is pretty nice but the best rocky helmet user in this metagame is probably a guard jump it's got the fact that if it runs rocky helmet and his ability rough skin which basically does the same thing but loses a little bit less of hp but every time your opponent goes for a physical move it loses 1.6 of the rocky helmet and 1.8 of the rough skin which is pretty nice so rocky helmet is a i feel like a decent item it only works on like a handful of mods like landerus the garchomp skarmory but it's a pretty decent item in the end so those are pretty much the um, main items i feel like there is still an item just wait called the citrus berry you might know it from in game but I feel like the citrus berry is only good on really really low amount of Pokemon so if you use like citrus berry on an Azumarill you can go for belly drum with an Azumarill and belly drum basically loses half it your HP and if um, your HP number is even so for example this if this would be your Azumarill you would lose exactly 50% and at 50% you would get back the citrus berry and recover one fourth of your HP. So you get back to like 75% uh, which is pretty decent. So the citrus berry is de pretty decent if you use a move like belly drum or substitute. But otherwise <laughs> just don't run a citrus berry. I do want to point out um, some of the items in the section below um, here not all of them are good but I do want to point out some some of them black sludge is one of them black sludge is like a leftovers so uh, I already talked about leftovers so regain HP but it's for poison types only so if your opponent tries to steal your item or something and it's not a poison type it loses HP which is pretty fun so if you are a poison type always use black sludge over leftovers that's my opinion um, some other items I want to talk about are yeah um, these items you might know from in-game I gotta take out a good one yeah why not uh, mystic water you might know Mystic Water as one of those items that boost like water type moves. You have a lot of them. You also have like Charcoal with boost fire type moves. You have a uh, Miracle Seed. Mirror. <laughs> Miracle Seed which boosts grass type moves as well. Which is a pretty good fact. So if you only have like a move of one type, it's pretty decent but the fun fact is that for example I knock out a Pokemon with my Keldeo using like a Scald and they think hmm that damage output is a little too much for a like a Scarf Keldeo and it, do it did outspeed my Pokemon they might think it's either Specs or Scarf which you can bluff an item which is pretty nice uh, another cool fact uh, about it is that you don't exactly have to run life orb so you don't have to sacrifice that HP stat what I was talking about so, but you do only get it on one type and it's less of a boost uh, you also have the expert belt which is only a 1.2 boost as well and it's only a boost if it's super effective which like a if a move have, uh, has a wide variety of, of typings in it, an expert belt might work like Gengar like I showed you just a couple of minutes ago because its move pool is pretty big. It might be decent but I still recommend the life orb over the expert belt. And the only thing I have to suggest right yeah, the plates if you look like pixie plate for example is for fairy time moves. 
The place is pretty much a like a mystic water. The the mystic water also has like a plate called a splash plate. It doesn't really matter which one you use, but if you want to use an Arceus of a certain type, you use those plates to turn in that type. The last thing I want to talk about is berries. Um, some remaining berries like Yachi Berry. Yachi Berry uh, reduces eye type moves, so guard jump <laughs> still won't pretty much survive an ice beam, but. Some um, some Pokemon do really love their um, tiny little berry. Great example is like uh, in Ubers. Dialga really loves to hold a Shaka berry because a lot of ground type attacks Dialga now survives, which is pretty nice. So it's it's taking a hit except um, instead of getting a super effective hit, which is pretty decent at times. But I do think that was the last item. Yeah. Looking at it, I'm not seeing other item items except of course <laughs> I I almost forgot. Mega items. Mega items are only a handful of items or uh, mega uh, Pokemon. And if you want to have like a mega ganger shoot, give it it me is mega stone. Just <laughs> if it's Eid, just put in like Gengar and Eid on it. If you want to have an Absol, for example, if you want to have an Absol with a Mega Stone, you can just type in like Absol Eid. <laughs> but you can also in the team builder here uh, just type in like Mega Gengar and it will also show up. I do um, want to mention one thing a lot of the Megas are. Um, like a mega form like, like mega Gengar is a, in a higher tier than normal Gengar for example it's an uber it's an uber mod so it's an ubers and normal Gengar is an OU and that's the case with a lot of Pokemon so do watch out for the fact that if you want to use a mega that it's it might be in another tier than its previous form but those are all the items I wanted to talk about if you do want to know what another item does just type it in the comment section below just ask it because I can explain it pretty good I feel like or just ask it on Twitter because I'm online there as well and I will see you guys in the next episode of TGTV and in the next episode like I said I will be talking about moves that I feel like are the best in the Magic game at the moment so uh, if you liked the video can you leave a thumbs up or something like that but I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. But this speed does allow me to outspeed Timid Whimsicott. And the reason that why I wanted to outspeed um, Timid Whimsicott is because Whimsicott cannot revenge kill me when Sikuas is up, I can revenge kill it. So it's pretty darn nice. So the next thing I wanted was a sticky web setter.